everyone, my name is Ksenia and today I'm going to unbox some Elite Series 62 Mattel figures. Okay, so today I have a small mail call from Ringside Collectibles, not Spawn. The first, well, the first two figures that I'm going to unbox are these AOP figures and I really love them and I've been waiting to get them ever since the reveal. They come with the NXT tag team titles and with masks. This year has been a year of revelations about Authors of Pain to me, starting with the fact that the book Pain actually does exist. Look it up on Amazon. Then the fact that they're Albanian, I didn't know that. Let's dive in and get a closer look at these figures. This series is also the one that comes this series is also the one that comes with the artwork background and I've already talked about those in one of my previous videos. Long story short, I don't like them. They're not very functional. Of course, the art is beautiful, but they don't really work for displaying your figures. So this, again, I'm ditching and just keeping in a separate drawer. We're starting with Rizar here. Please tell me I'm not the only person that can't tell a common Rizar apart. When I kind of look at them closely. Of course, I see that their facial features are different, but I just can't look at them and be like, oh, that's a common, there's theirs are. Don't you think that these backgrounds are a bit too pastel for Authors of Pain? Here we have Rizar in full gear. It's plastic, but it's not like a huge piece of plastic like with the bar figures. Those, you just can't move them because they're just cast in plastic. And these are done very nicely, it's pretty soft. The vest is removable. It's like a double wig reveal. Here's the logo and then there's a the logo again. <laughs> Here's what our friend Rizara looks like without the vest. Also, they come with the NXT tag team titles and with these masks. Let's try and put it on. Fits pretty snug. Here he is with the mask. I think I'm going to display them like holding their masks, not with their masks on. Usually when a figure comes with a prop, I end up just putting everything that you can on the figure. However, I don't want to cover their faces because I love these face scans. I am usually not that much into very expressive face scans, like one of the early basic Jinder Mahal figures or like the new Drew Gulak figure, whoever that one I like. But their expressive face scans I really like. Ever since Mattel kind of revamped their Elite series, the face scans have been getting better, better, better and better. So yeah, here's the figure, it's really great, I really like it. And I love it when you look at the figure and you can tell that a wrestler IRL is big. Most figures are roughly the same size, but when one of them like on the shelf just stands out, it's really cool. Now let's see our friend Akam here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing their names right. American announcers are like Akam, but since I know that they're Albanian, I feel like it would be right to pronounce it with a more Eastern European accent, since my mother tongue is kind of Eastern European, I tend to pronounce it like like I would in my language. Tell me in the comments exactly how wrong I am. Again, here's the display. And these are, as usual, are complimentary. Here is a cam. Of course, the vest is also removable. Do you guys feel like their bodies are completely the same? I think it's like the same body. But I can't really be mad because IRL, they kind of do have the same body. But I feel like a cam is a little shorter, but I do love the tattoos on this figure. This look really cool and really intricate. And as you can see, his facial expression is a little less intense, but also a great scan, looks exactly like him. And of course, he comes as well with the tech title and with the mask, which, by the way, fits a little less snug. <laughs> So yeah, here are the figures. I think these are really great. And the last figure that I'm going to unbox in this little haul is probably one of the most anticipated Elite 62 figure. It's Dude Love. I think it's one of those that people were really waiting for and really looking out for that pre-order link. A little mad that he's not wearing tie-dye though. Let's unbox him and get a closer look. Almost forgot about the background. <laughs> Here it is. If such a watercolor, pastel, sweet background fits anyone out of the series, it would be Dude Love. <laughs> and I just so happened to get the figures, the arts of which go three in a row, like this. He doesn't come with any special props. Well, everything that he comes with is on him already. He has the glasses and the headband and the shirt. This is such a great figure, you guys. He has this blue gear with Dude Love written on the thighs. And I feel like this shirt that he has on 
is the perfect consensus between loose collectors who prefer rubber clothing and those who prefer fabric clothing because it doesn't look like a whole separate unit, it doesn't like stick out to the sides and it looks perfectly normal and perfectly lifelike. So yeah, this is great. And he has this cast on his hand. It's so detailed and I love the teeth on that. They are so realistic. The headband is also removable and I love the print on the shirt and oh, come on, I just love everything about this figure. This video is so boring, I just love everything. Here he is, one more time. So yeah, this was the unboxing. Did you get any of the figures of the Elite 63? Tell me which ones down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you had a good time. Subscribe and find me on my social media. I will put links down below. I'm at Xenia did that on almost any platform. Goodbye.